and you can do alternate reaching up with one arm. What I'd like you to do though, when you reach with one arm, is know where the other hand is. Use that for stability and use your feet so that you're not only exercising an arm in a way where you're just doing this, but more the whole of your body while you're doing it. So as I lift my left arm up, I'm aware of both feet and this hand on here. I'm growing tall through my body as I do it. It's really just a way of getting good awareness of your whole body, a way of getting to know how your body moves and how you can use different parts of your body for your balance aspects. Now the main thing to remember about your central nervous system and how we learn things and, and what works well with it is that um, for things to um, be fun, enjoyable, for them to be a little bit ad hoc and not counting. So I, I never say do 10 of these or 10 of those because what I find is that people go one, two, three. So what I really want them to do is be very aware of what they're doing. So do as many as feels good. Maybe have some music on while you're doing it so that you can move to the music. Vary the speed that you go at, so you're going slowly or going quickly. Vary where you're reaching to. So reaching to different areas. If you feel happy enough and your, your spine is okay with that, it's thinking about reaching down your legs. But of course, only ever going within what is safe, particularly in these times. We don't want any falls or any accidents. Um, no visits to hospital, thank you very much. Um, so what, uh, what I like to use um, with all of my patients, that's a fun thing and active, and I'm not sure how it's gonna work with Oscar in the room, He's, he may try to steal our balloon, but I have an assistant behind the camera who's going to feed the balloon to me and I'm going to throw it back to you. So if you stand behind the camera. Lovely. Now what you see when you play balloon tennis, woo, Oscar, is um, that it makes you move your head and it's a random thing. What's good is the speed that the balloon moves at. And uh, it's always worth noting that when people play, play balloon tennis, they always smile. <laughs> and uh, it's not gonna be very funny if Oscar gets the balloon because he'll of course burst it immediately. So, if you have somebody to play this with, that's great. Um, I know that some people have limited visitors. <laughs> Take that away, please, please. Um, uh, and that might be difficult. Maybe playing within your own chair, if, if you can. If you can reach down and play it. Uh, if you've got a chair near to a, a firm surface, maybe playing against that wall. Um, if you have carers coming in, just ask them will they do one minute or two minutes of balloon tennis with you. It's a really good way of waking up your whole system and I can't recommend it enough. Um, balloon tennis is a good thing. I always recommend dancing. Um, another great thing to do is um, imagining that you're walking. So if you're not able to get up and walk from very far, a really nice thing to do is to sit and press one foot into the floor as you do. So you can be leaning back if you need to, or if you do it sitting up, pressing one foot into the floor as you lift the other one. And this, or swaying side to side. As you're taking small steps. So imagining that you're walking out somewhere nice that you would quite like to be. I like to be South End Seafront at the moment when I'm uh, avoiding that. Um, but wherever you might like to be, imagining that you're there, 
because actually imagining that you're doing something also stimulates part of the brain that it would do if you were actually doing the thing. So sitting and imagining walking or running or, or jumping is a good thing to do that's a stimulation for your brain. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end there. I hope that you found uh, some of these useful. It's a good idea to do little and often. Um, it shouldn't become uh, something that you beat yourself with if, you, if, if you're not doing it. But um, try and become into a bit of a routine where you're as active as you can, particularly first thing in the morning, just to wake up your system and then you might be more inclined to do that a little bit more throughout the rest of the day. So maybe